Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna share to you 10 upcoming Korean BL series. This year, Korean BL become one of the strongest drama with marvelous story and great acting. I have seen so many Korean BL, and this year I think it's the best year for Korean BL. And following the success of the KBL, there will be many series to come, including Grammy Season 2, one of my top favorite Korean BL ever. So without further ado, let's get started. Ten upcoming Korean BL series. At number ten, a soldier to cry on. The series is adapted from the manhwa Sonya Wilo Haiju by Dong Moon. The series is scheduled to be released in September this year with twelve episodes. Starting with Kim Jaehan and Shin Ye Chan, following the story of hate and love between two guys, Daeyeon and Taehyun. At number nine, the employee. The employee star Kwon Hyuk and Moon Ji Young. It tells the story of a virgin guy, Seung Hyun, in his late twenties. A late bloomer, he finally managed to score the internship of his dream. On his first day at work, he runs into handsome yet cold Kim Jong Chan. The series adapted from web novel The New Employee by Mosquero. Number 8 Oh My Assistant. Oh My Assistant, also known as Oh Nayo Eo Sinim, is an upcoming Korean build starring with Nam Yung Sung and Song Seun Hyun. It's based on the written Oh My Assistant by Myla and Angry Monster. Tells about an adult webtoon artist who hires an assistant and didn't expect the assistant to be so cute. At number 7, Lois Like a Cat. The series will be starring with Thai actor Musa Pasif and Korean PL and Korean actor Jiri. The series scheduled to be released in 2023. 6. Another adaptation from Webtoon, Mouth Tractor. One of the cast has been confirmed will play by Han Seung Ho. Let's wait for more info about this. Number 5. An Intentional Story. An intentional love story conflict the main roles will be played by Cha Se Won as Yeon Tae Jun and Gong Chan as Ji Won Young. Following the story of two men who fall in love accidentally beginning with a lie and their relationship as they slowly rebuild trust. At number 4, Hizu in class 2. The only thing that attracts me is that the series is rumored to have a long run with each episode. It's about 30 to 40 minutes per episode. It will be the very first one Korean deal with long run duration in each episode. Number 3 is Bizarre Romance. Same as Love Like a Cat, Bizarre Romance will also bring two actors from different countries. Thai actor Save Sai Safa and Korean actor Yun Yun Chun. Can't wait to see this one. Number 2, Blooding Season 2. One of the favorite Korean bill, Blooding will have its second season. I really love the story in the first season and to be honest, it's so unpleasant surprise that the series is so underrated. Just hoping they will manage how to promote it better than season 1. Because this is an amazing series, if I could say. The chemistry is on fire. I really love them. The last is Tumasar season 3. 
it's possible to have them again in the third season. My speculation say that Thomas Tara will have the third season. I mean, it has to be true because I wasn't satisfied with the second season. I mean, it's great. In all of the bin they put in each episode, what I want is I need more of them together without fighting. Like they have to go through everything together, not just in one last episode. It's so painful. And for you more updates, there are many Korean girl excluding the titles that I mentioned before, including Follow the Wine, Bon Appetit, Happy Ending Outside the Fence, The Accents, Derma Paradise, Space Bakery, Happy Middle Ending, Real Slope, and many more to come. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.